Hello viewers, welcome. And in this video, we will look at one of the popular interview programming question, return kth node from end of the list. So in this case, you will be given a singly linked list. You need to find out the kth node from the end of the list. So let's say you are given a linked list like this, which is shown here, and you need to find the second node from end of the list. In this case, the second node would be this one. So we'll see how to that, how to find this out. Now, the main challenge in this kind of problem is that the length of the list is not known. Let's say if we knew the length of the list is five, then we would know that the fifth node is the last one and the fourth node is the second from end of the list. But the length of the list is not known. So how to solve this? So let's see what are the options uh, to solve this problem. So first option is simply we can traverse the whole list from head to end of the list. In this case, we will start at the first node, which is this number two, and we keep moving the pointer to end of the list. And then when we visit each node, we increment the length of the list by one, right? And this way we can know the length of the list. Uh, and then after once we know the length of the li list, we can easily find the second node from end of the list by again starting from the head and moving those many nodes, right? But this is an inefficient approach. So what is the other option? The other option is to use two pointers. Now, when we use two pointers, we really don't need to find the length of the list. And without finding the length of the list, we can solve this problem. Let's see how. And this is an efficient approach, right? So we'll see how. Use two pointers. What we'll do is we'll initialize two pointers. Let's call the first pointer as F and the second pointer as S. And initially, they both are pointing to the first node in the list. So what we do is we move the first pointer to the kth node from the start of the list. In this case, the second node from start of the list. And then keep the second pointer steady and do not move it. Once the first pointer reaches the kth node, after that, keep moving the first and second pointer one node at a time until the first pointer reaches the last element of the list. Let's see how. As you see in this picture, when the first pointer reaches the last element of the list, the second pointer points to the kth node from end of the list. In this case, uh, second node from end of the list. Okay, So that's the answer. Now let's look at code. First we'll define our node structure. So here is our node structure. It contains a value and pointer to the next node within the list. And let's define our function. Now the input to our function would be the head or the first node in the list itself. Let's call it head. And then the k, unsigned integer k. And if you notice, I put the type as unsigned integer because if it's an integer, it can have negative value also and then your code needs to check whether it's a positive value or negative. And also notice that this code is in C++. Java code would look somewhat similar. So if you know Java or even Python or even C, you'll be able to understand this code. So first we'll initialize two pointers. This is our first pointer F is equal to head our second pointer s 
let's also point to the first node in the list for int i is equal to 0 to i less than k and let's say i plus plus f is equal to f next and here see if f equal equals to now make sure that you return null so this these two lines it take care of condition where your list length is less than k so let's say in our case the example that we are looking at currently the length of the list is 5 if your k is 7 then it really doesn't make sense and then you know your the first pointer it will reach to end of the list before it reach to the kth node okay so this two line take uh, takes care of that condition now after that move so while next is not equal to null And at this point, your second pointer, which is S, it is pointing to kth node from an end of the list and you return S at this point, okay? So it's a simple code. Now let's analyze our solution in terms of time and space complexity. And you have to remember that um, analysis in terms of time and space complexity of your solution is very, very critical in the interview. And if you do not, uh, specify interviewer might ask you about the time and space complexity of your solution so always uh, focus on it so the time complexity so the time complexity of the solution is o n because the first pointer in our solution it visited each node uh, in the list uh, at least once and the second pointer visited part of the list and there were no nested loops involved in this solution so the time complexity is o n that means you know it is linear okay uh, it linearly incre increases with number of nodes in the list and the space complexity of this solution is o1 because in our solution we used only two pointers and no additional space was used to store existing node or the existing list so let's say if our list length is whether 5 or 30 or 80 or 1000 all we need is two pointers and that's why the space complexity is 1 let's summarize what we learned today so we saw that when length of the list is not known or uh, some other problems also uh, with the singly linked list we can use two pointers some other problems where we can use two pointers they are like loop detection in a singly linked list finding the center node of a list or let's say if a string is represented in a list and if you want to check whether that string is a palindrome or not, in that case also we can use two pointers. The second thing we learn is that in the coding, we always need to take care of edge conditions, right? In this problem, one condition was, let's say if your k is greater than length of the list. In case our length of the list is five, and if the k is seven, it really doesn't make sense, right? So your code needs to take care of uh, such conditions as well. I hope you learned something new today and thank you for watching the video. Thank you.